Hey guys, welcome back to another video, um, Blender Quick Tip. In this one, we are going to talk about um, sculpting multiple layers in Blender Grease Pencil. And this is just a fast tip on how you can sculpt pretty effectively, uh, I would say, and not mess up your drawing while you're doing it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So we're in um, Blender here, and uh, we're going to switch over, we'll select our Grease Pencil object, we'll come down here to the timeline, select Grease Pencil, just so we're in the right location. Um, and if you're wondering why I have a gray background, it's because um, the color of my background is gray, so I'll, I'll change it to white. So anyways, so we'll come over here, we'll drop down, switch modes to Sculpt Mode. All right, and then we'll come into the Layers panel. Like the lines and if you can see if you first ever start sculpting uh, one of the biggest problems that beginners face and then that I face especially was uh, if I have like an error in the fills like we kind of zoom in here you can see that the the edge of the pop tart um, I want it to fill out over here but see now when I'm trying to line it up with the line the line is moving as well so I have to like I'm pushing it over and then, well, this is actually working. Let's see how it's kind of moving the line. I don't want the line to work. So a way to fix that, it's super, super easy. We come over here to the layers. Make sure you're working on multiple layers. We don't want the lines to move, so we'll hit the lock button right there. And we will lock everything but the currently active layer that we are sculpting. So we are sculpting the fills. So we'll come up here to this fill. And then we'll just kind of move it up. And if you see, I can move it, I can do everything. Um, you know, if I want to resize the sculpt, we just hold F. We can kind of quickly, you know, add it, add that, sculpt it. Um, and this is really useful for when you are coloring and you, you know, you're not on in the lines or you go outside of the lines. Um, yeah, so you can see that, uh, that his little arm right here it won't move only the fill is moving and that's what we want to do conversely if you would like to move the line we can just lock the um, fills select the line and now we are only moving the lines you see the fills aren't moving and if we want to change the lines we just only are moving the lines Alrighty, cool. We'll pop it back down and yeah, so that's a little quick tip for sculpting um, Whenever you're sculpting in blender um, as a bonus, we'll kind of come over here and I'll show you how I would um, I guess animate with a sculpt um, Yeah, so if I was trying to make it look like He was I don't know his skin was moving or something. I would go over here uh, probably at frame two actually. Frame four, we'll do frame four because I don't feel like going to frame two. Frame four. All right, and then we'll do that, and then we will grab the previous frame. Frame. We'll control D to duplicate it, and then using sculpt instead of having to redraw everything, we can kind of have that little pulsate. You can barely see it. You can see it pulsate like that. We can duplicate this, duplicate, and I'll just kind of show you cool like a little dance now if, <laughs> if I wanted to I would select uh, everything and then have it to where his hips move um, typically you want to like sculpt things for like expressions like their eyebrows if, if he had his eyebrows I would sculpt uh, his eyebrows to do like an expression or something like that and this is one of the useful tools for uh, sculpting so yeah i hope this quick tip helped you guys it's a sh these shorter form of videos let me know if you like them uh, subscribe if you haven't already i do a lot of breeze blender grease pencil tutorials and uh, yeah i will see you guys in the next video have a great rest of your day